Hey everyone, I'm Mark, your guide to all things tech. So today we're going to do a deep dive into the world of the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. And I promise you these tips and tricks will transform your Pixel experience. From mind-blowing camera hacks to making your phone feel faster, these tips are going to elevate your Pixel game to pro levels. So hit that like button, subscribe for more tech magic, and let's get started with tip number one. So the Magic Racer has been around for quite a few years now, but new to the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro is the Magic Editor, and here is where things get really wild. By clicking this animated icon, you can tap, circle, or brush anything you want just like the Magic Eraser, but this goes so far above that with the ability to use AI generated fill to predict and fill the area that you deleted, and it works <laughs> scary good. But this goes even further because the phone actually intelligently scans the photo and by pressing this button, it actually suggests what to do, and in this case, it suggested to add the portrait effect. And that's not all. It also erased the people in the background as well as brightened up my face. If the phone scans and notices there's more to do like in this photo, it will tell you the options such as changing the way the sky looks, which will give you amazing results. Or if you want a stylized photo, it will completely change the way the photo looks and it will be in a more artistic way. The Magic Editor is a super fun tool and I use it every single time I go out and take photos and I highly recommend you try it out yourself. Now for this next tip, if you're like me and you don't like answering phone calls from unknown numbers or if you don't like answering phone calls at all, I don't blame you, but that phone call could be quite important. Next time that happens, just click is it urgent and your pixel will enter screen calling. Here your own personalized assistant will ask the person if the call is urgent and you'll see what the person says in real time. From that point on, you can either accept the call or you can have your assistant ask another question such as what is this about? This is a super and fun way of seeing if you actually want to answer the phone call or if it's some annoying telemarketer calling you about installing solar panels on your roof for $100,000 at a 50 year loan. Like no thanks, okay? <laughs> I must also say if you guys are wanting to buy the Pixel 8 Pro or the Pixel 8, Best Buy has some pretty good trade-in deals. So if you guys are interested, I'll have some links down in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Now for this next tip, if you're ever watching a video and you don't want the volume to be too loud, maybe you're in a public setting, but you still want to hear or understand what the person that you're watching is saying, next time just click the volume up or the volume down and tap this icon here you'll get live captions to read, and you can even have them translated to any of these select languages. While this feature isn't exclusive to the Pixel 8, it is, however, very helpful. Let's be honest, finding your perfect wallpaper can be kind of annoying and kind of boring scrolling through thousands and thousands of images, and you just cannot pick the one you like. Well, the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro both have AI built into it, and it can do it for you. Simply tap and hold on your lock screen and then select customize lock screen. From there, tap on more wallpapers and then AI wallpapers. Now from here, you can choose your style. And then once you did that, you can tap on the underlined words and choose different options to help build your perfect wallpaper. No more scrolling through thousands and thousands of wallpapers and downloading those needless wallpaper apps that have a ton of ads built in. Now you can just do whatever you want. You can build your own wallpaper. Now this next tip is actually exclusive to the bigger Pixel 8 Pro and that of course is the Pro Mode. Open the camera app and swipe up. Once you did that, you'll see Pro Mode right there and then once you tap on it, you can get the ability to take 50 megapixel photos in JPEG or RAW formats as well as controlling the ISO, the shutter speed, focus and more. The Pro Mode is going to be super fun to use for all you photography enthusiasts out there. Now don't tell anyone about this next tip because it's actually a secret. Did you know your Pixel has a button on the back? Well, not really, but bear with me. You can set up something called Quick Tap. So all you gotta do is go into settings and in the search bar, just search up Quick Tap. Once you turn it on, you can access different functions or even have it open up your favorite app. Now, when you set it to what you want it to do, uh, double tap the back of the phone and ta-da. It's like magic, but it's real. I think it's brilliant. Now for this next tip, have you guys ever wanted to send someone a screenshot of a particular web page, but you end up taking multiple screenshots and sending them like five or six of them? Yeah. 
That's super annoying. No one likes that. Stop doing that. Instead, do this. The next time you take a screenshot, all you gotta do is click on capture more and drag anywhere you want. Boom, now you have one long screenshot to share and it is in high quality. Now the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro are very fast and fluid devices, but what if I told you I could make them even faster for you? Check this out. Go into your settings, scroll down and select about phone. Scroll all the way down again and then tap on the build number fast seven times and then enter your screen pin to access developer mode. After that, go back one page and then tap on system. Scroll down and select developer options and then go down until you see window transition and animator scale. Set them all to 0.5 and from that point on, opening apps and other animations will be much faster. No, seriously, you gotta try that out. Did you know both of these phones, the Pixel 8 Pro and the Pixel 8, can actually let others know for you if you've gotten into a car accident? To set this up, go into settings and then search car crash. Then scroll down and select car crash detection, tap on it and make sure you turn it on. Now, hopefully you guys will never need to use this, but if you do get into a car accident, your Pixel will know. From that point on, you'll have 60 seconds to respond. If you don't, 911 will automatically be called and your location will be provided. And and if you do respond within 60 seconds, you can select either no crash or a minor crash. Now, of course, if you have your emergency contact set up, not only will 911 be notified, but your emergency contacts will be notified as well. And of course, your location will automatically be sent to them as well. This is a super useful feature. Like I said, if you do get into a car accident and you become unresponsive, every single second after that is really important. Now for this next tip, your Pixel phones actually have an exclusive feature that will change the way you type and it is super awesome. Since I'm a reviewer and I always go through a lot of phones, this is one of the most features I miss about Pixel phones. Next time you want to text someone, just click on the microphone button here and use your voice. Your Pixel will use machine learning and AI to properly dictate what you're saying at incredible speeds and it'll even put periods and commas and other grammar in places where it needs to be. The crazy part is this works all on device. You don't need to have your Wi-Fi or even your cell connection for this to work. All on device. Now that's pretty cool. Another important feature is internet security. You need it, especially now with all this crazy hacking and spying going on, which is why Google kindly added a VPN to all Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro users absolutely for free. To activate your VPN, open the Google One app and then open VPN and turn it on. Now, anytime you're browsing online, your information and location is secure and is unable to be viewed by your internet provider or by anyone. Now, I hope this video helped you guys out and unlock your Pixel experience. If you guys did enjoy today's video, I would definitely appreciate you guys leaving me a thumbs up. It's absolutely free to you, but it helps me and the channel out a lot, and I always truly appreciate it. And if you guys are new here and you like these types of tech videos, definitely subscribe for a lot more videos coming up. And as always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.